The fools revolted. It began within my own team of underlings and quickly spread to the common workers. They accuse me of people disappearances, that I neglect safety and push them to the limits in taking grave risks. Useless worms! They have no idea that some of them have already become a part of my secret experiment, one not even Marcus knows about. At the gathering, even James Kroll, the prodigy kid and loyal follower of my endeavors, questioned me. Questioned me, Laura Reich. What nerve! And then he pointed at my Fumium amplifier headset, accusing the substance of having infected me. All of a sudden, this uncontrollable pro primal anger took hold of me. I lashed out at him and struck him with a discharge. The kid just collapsed to the ground with his eyes gouged out and his brain leaking out of his ears. And then... I blacked out. I just can't believe what was happening during my absence. Why would Laura do such things? At least the state the tower's in is starting to make sense now. This place, the main pipeline hub that brings Fumium to all other parts of the Arcs. Can't be believe I was once so proud of taming this stuff. Crawling everywhere.
I'm a little worried about the current research projects we're undergoing. The Bureau is slow to analyze our output, and the documents we send out every month have still not been acknowledged or even given proper opponency. We haven't received authorization for the upcoming research schemes either. However, some teams continue to hammer away on their own initiative, and I have to curb the progress artificially. What's worse, more and more accidents are popping up around the research focused on Fumium. Is it because of the failure to comply with regulations, or because of the instability the substance is becoming known for? I don't know yet, and I want answers. When I came round, back to myself, I saw it. The massacre. It seemed that within a few hours, everybody in the tower had either been eradicated or fled to the sea. But even they were doomed in the inhospitable waters of Mar Vaporum. I feel so responsible for this. I didn't... I didn't really want this. But I can't control the fury that burns within me. My combat fumatons killed everybody. What happened to me? Mindlessly, as if led by something beyond me, I put the dead bodies that stayed in a more or less intact state into Fumium solution tanks and ordered the fumatons to clear out the tower of any further remains. Oh my god, woman, what did you do? Is that the devil inside you or is it Fumium?
<coughs> Stinks in here. This gas can't be healthy. for authorizing this kind of research. Then again, can I still trust my own memory? Poisonous gas made from Fumium. Is there any way in which this... This is useless. I'm not getting in this way. I need to find the combination for this device.
she is. My dear Sophie. My little fragile girl in a steel cage infused by Fumium. This isn't how I imagined her fifth birthday would be. It breaks my heart to see her ignore the candles on her cake that she should be blowing out, all excited. Instead, she's staring at a fumaton that's about to cut the cake for her. I feel the environment hinders her natural mental growth. The Bureau releases most families with people in duty, but our agreement with them, Laura's and mine, will last for another year. Our positions here are too important for them to replace us or even give us temporary leave. Sophie's different from the other children I remember from the islands or my own childhood. No kid has ever spent their entire healthy. The Bureau releases most families with newborns from duty. The Bureau releases most families with newborns from duty, but our agreement with them, Laura's and mine, will last for another year. Our positions here are too important for them to replace us or even give us temporary leave. Sophie's different from the other children I remember from the islands or my own childhood. No kid has ever spent their entire, albeit short, life in a mechanical colossus like this. But I suspect Fumium will play some role as well. We still don't quite understand its properties or influence on humans. Laura's waist deep in Fumium research, exposed to it day and night, and she's becoming colder and colder towards our little girl. Still, Sophie doesn't seem to care too much. She's always with her. They can spend hours in each other's company without ever even saying a word. Seems to be thinning the gas out, but I'm not sure it's safe yet. I'm gonna need to switch more fans on.
find safety since the harbor. She witnessed it all, and I'm sure she must be confused. Even without words, we both know what the other one is thinking or feeling. I feel her fear. I must find her. She's the key to everything. With all my research assistants gone, I've come up with a new way to keep the project going. One of my secret projects could be very helpful with this. The beginning, when I still had to keep it a secret, was difficult. A simple Fumium amplifier strapped onto a dead but preserved body allowed the Fumium substance to infiltrate and take control of the organism. The first... I need a key. The first... Lean. They only could produce manual output and grew physically due to the infestation. Later on, I managed to create competent and obedient servants using the bodies of my former closest assistants. By putting them to sleep and then applying the amplifiers. I think it was their disappearances that raised suspicion, ultimately leading to the... Later on, I managed to create competent and obedient servants using the bodies of my former closest assistants. By putting them to sleep and then applying the amplifiers. I think it was their disappearances that raised suspicion, ultimately leading to the revolt. I no longer feel pity for what happened. There are no annoying distractions left to hinder my progress. Finally.
call you Lucy. You were right about Laura. You were right all along. The woman is insane. She just took three engineers on my team up to her chambers to use them in her newest crazy creation. Can I safely assume I won't ever see them again? I was so blinded by my own arrogance, Lucy. I should have listened to you about Laura's crimes. I should have listened to Liam Howell about the Fumium Corps and its messages. I'm so sorry. But I'll take the evidence you've put together. And we'll confront Laura. Along with all the other pissed off men and women. We'll take her down. I hope you get this recording before it's too late. The corridor should be safe to pass now. 